Well, this might be the last one of the night. We'll see, guys. I mean, we'll see. These dudes, are, they they made me tired, man. They made me tired. Rhyme Asylum. These dudes do not play around whatsoever. Honestly, I don't know why. I've never heard of them. I don't know why these dudes aren't known. I mean, these dudes should be widely known. I, I, don't, I don't get it. I don't get it, but... Rhyme Asylum Broken Window is what we're about to do. Four minutes and 54 seconds. And I know we've got nothing but bars for this shit. Nothing but bars. So we're going to check this out. All these beats are so dark. It's, they're heavy, man. They're fucking dirty. They're dirty as fuck. My name is Dean Emmett, victim of a serious mistake. Diagnosed as clinically insane, sectioned, imprisoned, and detained. The last thing I remember, I was being physically restrained. First sense something was amiss. Noticing the other inmates had cuts across their wrists. My trust in the nurses hesitated. Instantly ceased taking medication. Wait, they segregated selective mental patients. Once caught a glimpse of the room where they take them. Reasons why I remain on. Yo. He's basically describing a mental hospital, man. Damn, dude, he's really he's really going into detail. Like, the crazy thing is, there are people actually like that out there, dude. There are people out there who like actually are insane like that. Like they, I mean, there's not a lot of them. They're mostly in asylums, but shit. I mean, to be honest, this is the most focused I've seen them on like one specific topic. But let's let's see how this. How this a hundred volts straight to the victims' frontal lobes. This that's another thing too. E e ETC. Wait no. ECT. Electroshock therapy. E EST. I fucked that up. I think it's ECT. Um. Yeah. Electroshock therapy. That's real too, man. They'll they'll shock you. It's like worst case scenario. I study, man. I study. Guys, this medical test. These vulnerable people were being sentenced to death. This is beyond. I had to escape, spent night and day racking my brain, insomniac, but I had no solid plan, one day in group therapy eventually lost my rack, is this some kind of sick joke, next thing I knew a doctor pushed me straight through a window, I woke later on my bed as my mind cleared the pain in my side, sparking the idea, tied up with outside effects, shook loose the undetected shard of glass and behind my vest, heart pounding inside my chest, Managed to slice my restraints, fell down beside my bed Stood up, pulled off the ceiling, tire mesh Climbed the winding vents, entangled in spider's webs Exited down a flight of steps Ditched my hospital gown so the dogs won't fight Damn, dude, so he was refusing to take his meds He was in group therapy Doctor pushed him through the window Now he's he's running around, probably gonna escape I didn't, I didn't know they could story Whoa, whoa I didn't know they could story tell like this this is damn good, man. This is some damn good storytelling. And the bars, like I said, you already know. You already know what, what the bars are with this. Find the scent, felt the cold wind on my face, blinded by the moonlight, my mental prison escape. I wonder if this dude has actually been in a mental he probably has been into institutionalized i wouldn't be surprised like you gotta have some serious creativity to come up with this kind of shit even if he was this is still creative like this is he's telling an, telling a whole story he's going into detail he's letting you into if it's not his mind he's letting you into the mind of someone who's insane <sighs> this is some heavy shit <laughs> His name was Dr. 
the Emmy institutionalized for committing a mo institutionalized his name was Dr. Emmett, institutionalized for committing the most unusual crimes, torturing patients numerous times, still one escape room. Oh, so that was the doctor that pushed him through the window. Now he's saying this doctor, he's telling the doctor's story now. Because he was one of these doctors who would, like, test, test, I mean, like, torture patients. Oh, this is a story, man. This is a real story. Well, maybe not real, but it's it's a real story in that the bars are fucking real. Like, like these are real bars right here. <laughs> anyway. His name was Dr. Emmett, institutionalized for committing the most unusual crimes. Torturing patients numerous times. Still one escape from the truth to the light. In his mind, but kept it top secret. Unnecessary methods of shock treatment. No waiting list, kept going till the power died or the patient did. Whichever came first, he was a slave to his hunger within. Tie them up, so razors under their skin. Eyes void of emotion when not. Okay, this can't be true. Put razors? No way. There's no way he put razors in their skin. I mean, they would die of infection first and foremost. I'm thinking too much, I think. I'm, I think I'm thinking too much. <laughs> you get it? Yeah, you get it. The mop, so razors under their skin. Eyes void of emotion. When asked why he did it, he just said the voices had spoken. Insane, locked in a cell, dementia in control of all knowledge of self. Day to day, he yell about the crimes like he didn't do them, and they're still taking place. Swimming in the depths of depression, volatile, volatile. living on the edge of aggression, never did get a confession. Flipped out Flipped during out. a routine group therapy session. When asked, are you scared of the past? He jumped up by the window, put his chair through the glass. Demented look on his face, guards took him away, put him to bed fully restrained. Didn't bother drugging him up, next morning they walked in and saw him covered in blood. Should have known from behavior patterns that this was a suicide waiting to happen. Like he came to hate with a passion, shot at the wrist, fatal attraction. Examining the evil deed, there it was on the floor, the jagged killer that didn't flee the scene, broken window. Wait, wait, wait. What was on the floor? The wrist, fatal attraction. Examining the evil deed, there it was on the floor. The jagged killer that didn't flee the scene. Broken window, broken window, broken window. The jagged killer that didn't flee the scene. Broken, broken window. window, broken window, broken window. Did he slit his wrist with the glass from a broken window? Whew, that'd be crazy. Then again, he was sewing razor blades under people's skin. This is a crazy story, man. I mean, not as crazy as, like, Dance with the Devil. I wish, now they started a reaction channel, I wish I never listened to Dance with the Devil, because, look, you already know why. If you know Dance with the Devil, Immortal Technique, check it out. Your mind will be fucking blown. I think this might be it. See how he brought that back though? Broken window to the soul. It, it, he's talking about obviously broken windows, apparently multiple broken windows in real life, but there was a broken window to the soul in the doctor and probably the patient too, maybe. But man, yeah. I mean, this is kind of dark, but, like, this is art, man. This is some good art. Like, for real, they put their shit together well. I got, I got another one coming, though.
we've got the oh oh it's not diabolical rhyme asylum unreasonable featuring diabolic is up next we're gonna check that out i thought it was diabolical which is somebody who raps with a mortal technique however technique does a lot of uh horror core so maybe this is that diabolic anyway next up rhyme asylum unreasonable featuring diabolic here we go <laughs> 